morning. Um, my name is Chris Hardy. I'm the CEO of Wing Acoustics. We are an audio engineering firm from all the way from Auckland in New Zealand. So we've travelled quite a long way to be here. And I actually want to start uh, first off by playing a little video for you. We had uh, the pleasure of uh, spending a day at Roundhead Studios, uh, f pretty famous recording studios where uh, Lord Kanye West do some of their music uh, recording. And we spent a day there demonstrating our speakers and our headphones, all of our prototypes with the recording engineers. And I just want to spend a second. Oh, oh the, mu the sound's not coming through. At least you can see the shocked looks on their faces uh, when they hear us speak. I just want to listen to everything that I love, all the music I love, um, on these speakers and play albums and just spend days listening to them because it's just so, so satisfying. <laughs> it's kind of the only way I can describe it. Um, yeah, I, I've never heard anything like these before. Nothing. Thanks. Wow. That's amazing. So, um, What uh, caused that reaction? Well, we'll start with who. So this is Mike and Dave Palmer. They are Kiwi brothers, audio engineers, and classical musicians, and they are the inventors of this technology. One of them, uh, Mike, is sitting in the back of the room down there if you want to ask him some questions a bit later on. And uh, this is the kind of uh, reviews we're getting for our technology. You've redefined the high-end listening experience. You've changed the way we listen to sound. So what have we done? Well, we've reinvented the audio transducer. And uh, we think it does three impossible things. So one, we've actually eliminated resonance distortion at the source. So this, uh, this driver, which we'll show you shortly, it, uh, it's got uh, zero resonance distortion over incredibly wide bandwidth. So we're not talking about managing resonance or damping it. It's gone. It's been eliminated. The second one, uh, uh, when you see it move, uh, we're getting extraordinary bass extinction. And I'll show you some examples uh, pretty soon. So not only have we got incredibly clear, pure sound, but we're generating incredible bass, which has been impossible till now. And uh, the third thing is we're just uh, also generating huge air movement, uh, probably world leading with our headphone drivers now, so exceptional volume excursion. How have we done that? Uh, we've taken a principle that's pretty much an opposite to what's happening in the entire industry. Uh, our drivers are rigid, they're not floppy. So we've got no rubbery, unstable suspension, no piston actions, no floppy movement of any kind. Uh, so there's no unwanted pollution or vibration energy being generated in this driver. This is what it looks like, and this is the first time quite a lot of the world has seen this driver. We've been hidden away getting all of our patents filed. Uh, it's named the acoustic wing, and there's three basic parts to the structure. We've got a rigid diaphragm, which looks like a wing at the top. Uh, it's very light. In fact, in this case, it's made of polystyrene. Uh, we've got a, a small, compact, rigid base rather than a big, spidery base that also normally generates resonance. And then some very magic source about how these two things are connected together. So it, it works like a rolling hinge. Uh, and if you get it right, you can do it with no vibration. So I'm just going to show you uh, a quick video of it in operation. Uh, these headphones you're going to see here, we've actually got them out at our stand. You can hear them. This is our generation four uh, headphone driver. So uh, we've got, I think we've got all four generations on the stand here in the newcomers area. So that is how it moves air. 
it's still got a diaphragm, it's still doing a lot of the same stuff a driver normally does, but it's moving air in a very different way. And that rolling hinge enables us to do this uh, without generating any resonance. So, uh, not only do you need good ears to recognise uh, the performance or the sound quality of our drivers, but uh, waterfall plots are the standard measure for measuring resonance in the industry. Uh, this is a, a headphone driver, uh, it's an exceptional headphone driver, uh, a reference headphone driver that's probably worth about $1,500 a pair. Uh, we've, we've done quite a lot of work uh, looking at the distortion and, and resonance in other drivers. The, so you've got uh, time in milliseconds. Uh, some of you might be aware of this, but um, I'll just explain it. You've got time in milliseconds here. You've got the spectrum of human hearing up to 20,000 hertz. Uh, we're squirting the signal in, turning the signal off, and you see how quickly the sound drops away. Uh, and hopefully, if you get a nice clear uh, cliff face up the top, that shows that there's very little distortion in the driver, which equates to better quality sound. This driver's got a resonance-free zone between about 300 and what is it, 250 to 600 hertz, and these are all resonance modes all the way up to 20,000. So that is vibration pollution in that driver. And that is the best waterfall plot we've ever sighted in the world for any kind of driver. And you can see there's quite a lot of uh, resonance distortion. This is one of our drivers. This driver's uh, in one of the set of headphones we've got on the stand, which you're welcome to come and have a listen to. Uh, our resonance distortion, zero resonance distortion in this driver is from 150 hertz all the way to 18,000. Now, that's impossible with a normal driver. You can't, you, literally, we've had lots of audio engineers look at this over the last year, and, and you just can't do that with a, with a standard driver. Uh, this stuff might look like resonance, but it's below zero. It's the computer running out of maths to calculate the thing. So you've got this beautiful big cliff face with the sounds just immediately dropping away. So um, when you look at the two side by side, it's pretty mind-blowing. Uh, so, uh, and what that equates to, we've got, um, we've done this with a lot of drivers. This is another four brands. That last one I showed you was a very high-end reference driver. Uh, this is a bunch of other uh, global brands, all with, as you would expect, the same issues or more. So, resonance basically being generated from about 600 hertz onwards. So in our drivers, what that equates to is uh, incredibly pure sound. We think the purest sound you'll ever hear and uh, you can come and judge that for yourself. Uh, something else pretty amazing with these drivers, and I'll show you one operating, you've seen a, an animation, but I'll show you a real uh, one of one of our new prototypes we're just testing right now to show you the volume excursion we're getting. But one of, the, one of the headphones we've got, this is literally on the stand out there. It's operating it with a fundamental frequency of 30 hertz, uh, and it's a full range, so it's, it's, um, it's a full range driver. We've got one set out there with a bass and treble driver in, and this is a, a new. This is our new generation four, um, and again, that is an incredibly low, uh, low, low fundamental frequency. We kind of call it the boy racer uh, bass, but again, you've got no distortion being generated in there. So, uh, as as with any normal driver, the more bass you want to put in there, the more flexible and more movement you've got to get, and the more dis distortion you get, and the smaller the range you can operate over. Uh, this, uh, I don't know if anyone's actually in the world seen this before. So this is, uh, this is our Generation 4 driver. This is a, a progress video we took in December when we got it going, uh, just to show you the volume excursion we're getting from, from this thing. So this one is operating at 63 degrees peak to peak, so it's pushing a huge amount of air. This is probably pretty much world leading already. Uh, unfortunately, the video is covering this up, but it was running from 10 hertz. Uh, that's 15 that's running at now. So it's a pretty uh, mind-blowing thing. <laughs> so incredible volume exclusion. And we've got some more tweaks we're making now. We expect it's going to get up to about 76 degrees. It's just moving a huge amount of air. We've also made the diaphragm slightly larger, so we're getting incredible bass volume uh, out of this driver. So... Um, yeah, it's truly revolutionary tech. So, you know, the, the drivers that are all, pretty much all the cone drivers that are out there now, they've, there's a lot of work. We've been to see some of the companies that do a lot of work on managing resonance distortion, but we've el literally eliminated it. Um, it's kind of a radical shift away from what's out there at the moment. 
the, the sound quality, I really hope you come and have a listen because it's, it's pretty f phenomenal. And we're generating now with our fourth generation, we're just generating an exceptional amount of bass uh, with that, with the, just the clarity is, is unbelievable. Uh, we've got a, a pretty phenomenal, um, sophisticated patent program that's being run by a large US law firm for us. And uh, at this stage, we're going to look to go out and start licensing it to companies this year. So that's us. If you want to find out a bit more, at wingacoustics.com. Uh, Mike, one of the inventors, is sitting in the back of the room. If you've got any questions for him, I'm not one of the engineers. Uh, I'm the guy that uh, makes up the nice pictures. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for your time. That's us. Thank you. What was that, sorry? Oh, we're in the newcomers stand right behind Sennheiser. So just behind, yeah. It's definitely worth coming and have a listen. We've got two uh, headphone drivers going in there. We've also got a set of our floor standing speakers there. Uh, they're not operating, but you can see the so you can see the movement of the driver. We've got quite a big one mounted in the floor speakers, and that's quite exceptional as well. So the one that's literally another prototype. It's running in the box at the moment at 30 hertz, and the range is getting up to two and a half thousand. And the new driver we're going to put in there, we think, is going to get from about 25 to 30 hertz up to 4,000. So the ranges are un unbelievable. It's it's unheard of. Um, so yeah, come and check it out.